Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I will be doing this makeup look right here. Testing out a few different products uh, from different uh, purchases. <laughs> I made a little bit of makeup purchases this time and I just wanted to sit down and film like uh, my first impressions with you guys. I have tested all of these products today in front of the camera and these are like my first impressions. Before I, uh, before starting off, I just wanted to say that uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm is a subscription box that you get. It's a US subscription box. It's around the price of $21 and most of the products that I got are from BoxyCharm like the Alamar palette. This was the main reason I got the boxy charm box uh, uh, I got the Alamar palette I got some luxury luxury brushes and I have the and I have this Paddington lash as well and uh, Ofra liquid lipstick and this eyeliner which I didn't use by the way this is the Jante blue liner it's in the shade charcoal this one this is the Sol de Janeiro uh, Brazilian bum bum cream this is like a body moisturizer I got this so all of these products that you see here, I got this from BoxyCharm. You cannot get all of this directly in India just because they only ship to US and Canada. I will leave the Instagram name down below from where I got this uh, subscription box. Um, so don't forget to check that out. And before starting off, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please definitely hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And hit that notification bell near the subscribe button so that you'll get notified of my future videos as soon as I upload them. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm directly starting with the eyes today just because I don't know how much fallout this palette is going to have. But let me just show you the palette first. This is the Alamar Cosmetics uh, Reina del Caribe Eyeshadow Volume 1 palette. And just look at the colors here. Like how beautiful this palette is. It's like a total summer palette. Like you have your trees and greeny leaves here. And the eyeshadows look so gorgeous. I am definitely going to swatch uh, some shades. I'm going to swatch this shade. This one, Celia, here. Wow, that's just like one or two swipes. And now I'm going to swatch Varadero, this one. This is like a blue type of <gasps> the pigment. Are you kidding me? And I'm going to swatch La Costa here. Wow, I don't know how to spell this, but I'm going to swatch this shade, El Malecon. I probably butchered that word, but here are the swatches so these are the swatches they look so pigmented and I swatched the shimmer shades I don't know about the matte shades we'll test it out today and I'm super excited just because the colors here calls my name I'm sorry this video is going to be a little long because I'm in a chatty mood and uh, since my last videos weren't that long enough so here I am today with another long video First, I'm going to prime my eyelids as usual with the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Concealer. So now my eyelids are primed and I'm going to go in with a scotch tape like this. The first shade I'm going to be taking is uh, this one, this right here, Coco Taxi. And I'm going to dip my brush. I don't know how these are. Like these are definitely a bit powdery. Not like the Anastasia eyeshadows. I mean it's definitely pigmented. It's, it's coming up. It's like a light uh, peachy orange type of shade. And it's blending up really easily as well as I'm blending the shadow. It's blending very, very easily. It's not way, way, way pigmented also where you like you put it and it's like it's you cannot blend it out. It's I'm building the color slowly by slowly here. <laughs> So after I have laid down the Coco Taxi shade, I'm going to take Tropico and I'm going to place this on my outer corners. I'm 
again going to take uh, the Morphe M513 brush and this one. And I'm going to take the shade Coco Dexy and I'm going to blend both of these colors out. So this is what I'm left with now and I'm going to cut my crease like the half half cut crease my signature uh, dramatic look that's what I do every time and that's what I'm going to do today also after I have done cutting my crease now I'm going to take the shade L this one this right here and I'm going to take my fingers first wow can you see that uh, this shade shade is like honestly a green gold type of shade and definitely apply this with fingers just because it intensifies the shadow so much I'm going to take the same tone type of brush and I'm going to take the shade Tropical here, this one. And I'm going to blend the edges so that it doesn't look very harsh. I'm going to leave the eye look as this now, as far as now. For uh, foundation, I have a new foundation and this is the Colourpop No Filter Foundation. I ordered it the day I, it launched, like I went to their website and I ordered it but the, it, it takes time to come to India. I, mean, I ordered it through an Instagram store and I'll definitely leave their page name down below. And uh, this, I'm in the shade medium 110. Uh, the bottle is very very tiny. And this doesn't have one fluid ounce, I know. On the day it launched on their website, Colourpop was having an offer where they were like giving a brush over free with the foundation. So I got a foundation brush as well from Colourpop. But I'm not going to be using this today because I don't really use brushes, especially a flat like type of brush. I'm going to use my Eco Tool sponge. But first, I'm going to prime with my favorite primer. This is the Pack Primer. This foundation claims to have, give like a no filter kind of finish, uh, kind of smooths out the texture of your skin. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to pump out just one pump. We'll see how the coverage and everything is. <laughs> foundation is blended and this is how it's looking it's looking very dewy and very skin like and it's looking like very very healthy on my skin it's kind of a little tacky I have to say it's tacky so I have to set this foundation we'll see I'll wait a couple of minutes and I'll see how it goes just because I don't I don't like to set my foundations at all I don't like to use powders that much but if I have to, then of course I will set my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. So far, the foundation is really, really full coverage. This is what the result of one pump looks like. I don't have any blemishes. I have like clear skin. I will go on to concealer. I'll use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I will come back and I will set my under eye yellow banana shade and I'll come back. Okay, so I totally forgot to say that while I was on the boxy charm, I got this brushes. I got some of these brushes. Uh, this is the duo fiber powder brush. This is the tapered highlighter brush and this is the precision foundation brush. I'm definitely not going to be using this for foundation. Definitely not. I would like to use the tapered highlighter brush. These are from Luxie by the way. And I'm going to be using the tapered highlighter brush to set my under eye concealer. So as I have uh, set my under eyes, I'm going to powder my face with the Maybelline Fit Me uh, foundation, sorry, powder. And I'm going to use the Precision Foundation brush from Luxie to set everything. This is like tiny for to set the uh, whole face, but I'm just testing out the 
brush. So this is how my face is looking, I have set it and I am going to bronze up with the Wet n Wild this Mega Contouring Palette I am going to use the brown shade and I am going to come back. So my face is bronzed now and uh, I have a new blush and this is the Freedom blush. I got this from Nykaa and uh, this is in the shade Rare. Um, I will leave everything, I will leave all the prices and the links down below from where I got what. So this is like a peach type of blush. I don't think it's showing on camera how peachy this is. This is like super peachy, like super super peachy. And the time I got this, I did not think it will be this peachy looking. But it has like few flecks of glitter in it as well. So we'll see how this works. I'm going to take the Luxie Duo Fiber Powder Brush, this one and uh, it's, it has got like a really nice like a contour type of shape to it but I'm going to be using this for blush today and I don't know how this blush is going to work it's very powdery though it's very very powdery <laughs> So this is how my uh, blush and everything is looking. I don't know if it's showing on camera but I did put a little bit uh, more than usual and after that I'm going to go in with my highlighter just the normal Nykaa one. So after everything is done now I'm going to move on back to my eyes. I'm going to take the Alamar palette again and I'm going to take the shade Tropico this one. Oh sorry, I'm going to take the shade Tropical here and I'm going to place this on my lower lashes. And to highlight my inner corners, I'm taking this shade, this one, this is the shade La Costa. I'm taking this shade La Costa here and I'm going to be highlighting my inner corners. Wow! I did not think it's it was going to be this highlighted like that's like a bam in your face so um, I look is completed now we have some falsies yes I ordered some falsies and not just some I ordered I have like three pairs of lashes for someone who doesn't apply lashes who doesn't know how to apply lashes I ordered a bunch of falsies okay so this one I got it from BoxyCharm and this one I ordered it from myself uh, this one I got from an Instagram store she newly opened her store and this is the Hina Hena Beauty uh, and I got these packaging the packaging of this is so beautiful and I got the lash uh, style Shiza yeah Shiza and these are pretty so I want to try these ones really badly and this type these are the ones that I got from the boxy charm these are very very natural I do not like the shape of this I mean the flare I do not like the flare just because I feel like they will kind of look fake I don't know, I haven't tried this out yet, but I just don't want to use this for today's video. This is the cheapest one. This one I got from Amazon just because I want to try out more falsies and I want to try this like on, like when I'm going out and about. Uh, so these looks very promising. The hairs on it is like very, very natural. They do not feel plasticky type of hairs. So I'll test this out as well. But for today, I'm definitely going to try this one. Okay, so these are a little bit longer than I expected. So I have to cut uh, these lashes a bit shorter because these are a little bit longer. This is how my eye look is looking with lashes super dramatic right and I love these lashes these lashes complements my eye so well 
and they have like a curl to them which makes it look very 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 dramatic i love them so much for uh for lips i have two things i have the pack uh lip liner in the shade coffee it's like a nudie type of a lip pencil i got this from nika i don't know the price i think so it was around like 200 bucks and I have the Ofra liquid lipstick. It's in the shade Verona. I got this from the BoxyCharm. And I'm super excited to try out the Ofra lipstick because I've heard so, so many good reviews about it. And I'm, and I'm dying to try this out. This is like a very expensive lipstick. The cost of this is around $21, which will cost around like 2100 in Indian rupees if you can calculate the customs and shipping along with that so i'm going to try out the lip pencil first i'm going to uh, swatch the lip pencil here it's like a nudie pink type of it has a pink undertone it clearly has a pink undertone to it so i'm going to be lining my lips with this one <laughs> Now I'm going to try the li uh, liquid lipstick. This is like a... I'll swatch this one as well. Here. I hope you can see this one. This is like a very type of cool tone type of brown. Oh, smells like vanilla. So clearly this is a little bit too nude for me. I mean I can definitely pull this with some like maybe a really dark smoky eye. But with this look also it's not looking that bad. But I definitely need to have like a dark lip liner underneath. So yeah that was everything. Oh I had to check out this eyeshadow. This one is the Kiko eyeshadow. I mean I got this and this is in the shade I don't know. This is a shade 12. I was about to say smart because it literally says Kiko Milano smart eyeshadow. So I was like, maybe it's in the shade smart. But <clears throat> I swatched this shade earlier and it isn't that great. So I didn't use it for today's video. I, I did not use this type of lashes too. And the Baddington lashes, this one as well, I did not use these. So I will use this later in some kind of video i'll update about these all of these products on my instagram i'll definitely leave my instagram handle down below here and uh this was the look for today i mean so i'll just give quickly go through all the products whatever i used for the foundation the foundation looks really nice like it definitely gives like a very nice filter to the skin it's looking very soft i don't know how it will hold up because i'm definitely going to be removing this makeup like after filming this video i'm going to remove the makeup so i don't know how this foundation is going to wear but just looking at it it looks very natural and the all the products i put like with the foundation went on very easily the bronzer went quickly the bronzer was really blended nicely to my skin the blush was very easily blendable and my highlight is looking amazing so i love this foundation on first impression i love this foundation so far it's it's really looking very flawless so now coming on to the eyeshadow palette this was my favorite thing from everything i have tried today this is so good if you are a beginner this is like a must have palette because the shadows here the matte shadows and the shimmers too i mean the matte let, let me talk about the matte shadows here like i haven't used any shadows like this in my past i mean the shadows the brush doesn't pick up a lot of pigment but when you go to blend it out you don't really have to blend it at all like you just have to go boom boom and that's it your shadows are blended so beautifully and the shimmer shades are really really good like only one swipe and you get a lot of pigment so i am really impressed with this palette this is uh the price of this palette 27 dollars if you get this in india it's going to be around the price of 2000 
700 to 2900 around that price tag and i'm so excited to try this palette out in future so more tutorials are going to be coming from this palette on my channel so stay tuned for that and what else did i use okay so i used the blush okay so the blush is really good it's pigmented it's nice it's like it, it blends into the skin really well it's like a decent blush i see myself using this blush a little bit more in the summer just because the shade is really very peachy and what else did i use okay so the luxe brushes these brushes were really good very very soft does the work really nicely blends out uh, powders very easily so i love that this pair of lashes as i said are really good it's very dramatic of course if you are a beginner i don't think so you will love this but do give these a try the band is a little bit thick once you start practicing putting your lashes on they look really good and um, the lip pencil was amazing i mean uh, it was very creamy you can overline your lips with it you can fill in your lips as well with it the shade is good i'm definitely going to be checking out more uh, shades from this line finally the ofra liquid lipstick the i don't feel like i have a liquid lipstick on i don't feel like i have anything on my lips at all it's that comfortable and the smell of this oh god this smells like vanilla so delicious i want like a vanilla cupcake when i smell this and that was everything i enjoyed filming today and i'm sorry this video was so long and uh yeah that was everything for today's uh, video if you stay till the end thank you for watching my video and uh definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below i post two videos every week and don't forget to hit that notification bell down below just because you'll get notified of my future videos as soon as i post them anyways i will see you all in my next video bye and i'm going to prime my eyes today sorry I'm going to prime my face.